Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. I know I've been gone for a while, but I've been dealing with some personal things, but now I'm here and I'm ready to make more videos. So I just recently got a new mic. I think it sounds a lot better than my last one. Let me know what you guys think. This tutorial is going to be about how you can make a Twitch banner in Photopea really easily. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first is we're going to go up to File, New, and change the dimensions to 900 by 480, and name it whatever you'd like, and just hit Create. So what theme I'm going to go for is like a forest with like black and white text, and the background's going to be black and white, so you'll see what I mean. Alright, so I looked up forest, 1920 by 1080, I'm just going to find a forest picture I want to use for the background. Um, this is pretty cool, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to copy it, bring it back to Photo P and Control V to paste. And now we have the forest here, and we can start putting our name on it. So I'm going to go to my text tool and type Cambit Creates. Now what you can do is you can find a font that you like. I'll be right back when I find it. All right, so I found the font I want, it's called Allen up here. So if you want to copy it, you can, or you can find your own. I'm going to turn the size up right here to about, I'll go with 99. Hit that little check mark and you can move it wherever you'd like. So I'm going to do it right here. Double click on the layer and you can go to color overlay. I'm going to change it to white like this. Maybe uh, I can add some drop shadow. Like so, I'm going to make it 90 degree angle though, so it's right below it. And maybe turn the opacity up a little more. Turn the distance down like this. And um, basically, I'm going for a really simple look. What we can do is we can make the background black and white by clicking on it. Going to image adjustments. Hue and saturation, and you can turn the saturation all the way down if you want to go for that look, but it actually doesn't look as good as I thought it would, so I'm going to just turn the hue to whatever color I want, which it looks good like this, so there's that. Now we can put some social media on the left and right, so I looked up Twitter logo PNG, so just find one that's a PNG, like this one, copy it, bring it back. Control V to paste it, edit, retransform to make it smaller, and you can hold shift. So you can put it wherever you'd like. You can put it below it, or right on the left of it, like this. And you can change the color of it by double clicking on it, going to color overlay, changing it to white, and typing at ambit make it a little smaller and put it like right here and then you can do it again by getting a different logo that's a png like uh, instagram or whatever social media you want to use and you can put it over here and you can do the same thing on this side you'll want to change the colors or at least i will to white I'm gonna double click on it go to color overlay make that actually black's kind of nice I might do a stroke of white though like this and I'm gonna turn it down actually it looks kind of nice at six I'm gonna do six on that and then I'm gonna do stroke again make it six on that and you can adjust it however you'd like like I guess I could move it down which could look nice. So you would just replace the other Twitter one for like Instagram or something. And that's basically all you gotta do. So you can be more um, creative with it if you want. But this is the basics and all you wanna do is just go up to file, export as, and then you can do PNG. Make sure the quality is set to 100 and just hit save. And it'll save it to your computer. 
I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. Leave down in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, sorry it was really simple, but it gets the point across. I like it better simple than like a bunch of crazy like colors and that'll give me a seizure or something like that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.